Hi, my name is Dustin Sorry, I'm the product manager for OwnSpec. I'm here today with David Widmeyer, our senior application engineer. Uh, we're going to give you a quick tips and tricks video on uh, how to set up AutoRun and improve throughput in your uh, quality process. All right, David, you mind jumping in and showing us how to set up AutoRun in Calypso? Yeah, of course. So first of all, we need to make sure that we have an existing inspection plan for our parts, which we do. So in our case, we can simply go ahead and open up AutoRun right here. And as you can see, we already have an existing pallet on the machine. So all that's left for us is basically telling Calypso where this pallet is placed and how the spacing is between all parts. And to do this, we can simply create a new pallet. Of course, we need to make sure that we select the correct measurement plan. Then we can give it some sort of name. The important thing now is to use the correct pallet alignment so Calypso knows the distance between the pallet and the actual part of the, of the pallet itself. So I'm going to go ahead and select mine right here, enter the spacing and the number of parts I want to measure. There we go. That is all we need to do. So as you can see, we've now created a new pallet. And by simply selecting the position I want to measure, so let's say this one and that one, I can then press on the run button. So if an operator doesn't have a full load of parts and just needs to measure a few, they can just pick which spots yeah, those are exactly. placed. As you can see, Right here, there is one spot empty, so we can simply leave that one out and just measure the rest. Turn on the pallet optimizer feature to speed up uh, the throughput of a pallet measurement? Yes, of course. Um, it's actually fairly simple. Um, all we need to do for that is define our starting parameters up here. Um, and as you can see, what we want to do is we, change, we want to change the order of the run. So instead of measure part by part, which would mean measure something with our tactile probe, switch to the camera, switch back to the tactile probe again. We want to measure everything with the probe first, then we want to store the probe, and then we want to switch to the camera. And to do this, as I've said, fairly simple. All we need to do is we need to switch to by stylus system. And we hit OK. Select our, let's say, these two parts. Then we run the whole thing. And as you will see, we will start with the probe. Do all the tactile measurements on this first part, then on the second part, and then we will switch to the camera. Well, it's a great new enhancement out of Calypso, and I'm sure many users will be happy to start utilizing it.